Giant Squid, the nightmare from the depths. The ocean is teeming with all sorts of wondrous and fascinating animals, and given that we've only explored about 10% of it, there could be loads more to explore. One incredible creature we have discovered in the deep is an animal that wouldn't be out of place in a sci-fi horror film, a tentacled behemoth that inspired many a sea monster tale and gave countless sailors pause. Grab your scuba gear as we dive into the murky depths and pay a visit to the giant squid. We will explore everything there is to know about this amazing and often misunderstood animal, including how it lives, what it eats, and its potential threat to humans. Let's go! Introducing the Giant Squid Sailors have been coming across large squids for as long as man has been sailing the world's oceans. Tales of gargantuan sea creatures with enormous tentacles are at least several centuries old. During those times, rumor mongers' imaginations ran wild. From sacred sea dragons to shipwrecking krakens, or even the biblical leviathan, seafarers were convinced something monstrous was lurking in the depths. It wasn't until 1856 that Archituthis, aka Chief Squid, got its official taxonomic name from Danish zoologist Japetus Steenstrup. Before that, the giant squid had also been documented as a sea monk because of how its sprawling tentacles resembled the long flowing robes of a clergyman. The giant squid belongs to the Archituthidae family, the Archituthoidae superfamily, and the Oegopsida order. Its higher classifications place it in the Cephalopoda class along with cuttlefish and octopi, and mollusca phylum. The Archituthoidae superfamily is also home to the Neotithoidae family, which in turn has five genera and five species of squid. Notable cousins of the giant squid in this family are the Antarctic neosquid, Allurotuthus antarcticus, and the ultra-rare Neurotuthus nesisi. The giant squid stands alone as the sole species in the Archituthidae family although some scientists argue there might be more. The animal is incredibly elusive, with living specimens having been filmed only a handful of times in the wild. Most encounters in modern times have been with dead squids that wash up on beaches. Giant squids reside deep, deep underwater, far below the reach of natural light. Despite the best efforts of marine biologists, they remain one of the deep's closest guarded mysteries. Most of what experts claim to know is inferred from more documented species like the Humboldt squid, Dosodicus gigas, which is also known as the Jumbo squid. What we do know for sure is that giant squids are massive beasts that live in all of the planet's major oceans. They are the second largest mollusk on Earth behind the aptly named colossal squid, Mesonicotuthis hamiltoni. Estimates based on discovered specimens indicate a maximum length of 38 to 43 feet. 11 to 13.1 meters, from the tip of the fins to the tips of the two elongated tentacles. The species is sexually dimorphic, with females being larger than males. Male giant squids are estimated to max out at 33 feet 10 meters in length. Weighing in at a maximum of 606 pounds 275 kilograms, females are heavier too. Males are estimated to have a maximum weight of 330 pounds 150 kilograms. Again, these size estimates are based on the very few specimens that have been found and recorded accurately. Rumors of 60 and 70 foot long, 18 to 21.3 meter squids are not unheard of, but there is no evidence of such yet. The giant squid size has been attributed to abyssal gigantism, a phenomenon where deep sea creatures grow to extraordinary sizes to conserve energy. Since food is so scarce, these animals grow bigger bodies for greater energy stores. Other creatures that have undergone this gigantism are deep sea worms and sea spiders, which are often much larger than their cousins in the shallows. A giant squid's body is made up of posterior fins or wings, a mantle, a water jet, a head with two eyes, eight arms, and two long tentacles. The fins are used for swimming and steering, while the water jet or siphon is used to provide short bursts of propulsion. The squid sucks water into its mantle and ejects it from the jet for acceleration. The arms and tentacles are a squid's most versatile body parts, playing a role in swimming, steering, feeling, and grappling. Like with octopi, arms and tentacles are how the giant squid interacts with its surroundings and other animals. Also like their cephalopod cousins, their limbs make up the bulk of their considerable length. Arms and tentacles are lined with hundreds of suction cups that use vacuum to gain and maintain grip. Each suction cup is rimmed with chitin serrations that resemble teeth. 
Experts agree that these serrations aid with holding onto surfaces. Observations made on the bodies of sperm whales, the giant squid's chief nemesis, show hundreds of scars and wounds consistent with the suction cups. Sperm whales are renowned for their love of giant squid, and they will dive to depths of over 2,000 feet, 610 meters or more, to battle them. While suction cups line the entire lengths of a giant squid's arms, they are mostly concentrated on the ends of the tentacles. These ends, known as clubs, are somewhat thicker than the rest of the tentacles and are made up of three parts – the carpus, manus, and the dactylus. These club parts are also known as the wrist, hand, and finger, respectively. The wrist and finger have many smaller suction cups, while the hand has fewer, larger ones. Generally, an adult squid has suction cups that range between 0.7 to 2 inches to 5 centimeters. Like all squids, the giant's limbs converge at the base of the head and surround a beak and mouth. The beak, which is very similar to that of a parrot, is very strong and used to incapacitate prey and deliver nasty bites to rivals during a fight. The squid also boasts some of the largest eyes in nature, with each peeper measuring up to 11 inches (28 centimeters). Not much is known about them, but the way squids have been documented to track objects in the water indicates strong eyesight. Big eyes are likely an evolution to pick out light in the murky depths. We haven't established whether giant squids have full-color vision. Again, much has been inferred from the jumbo squid, which also has relatively large eyes. Jumbo squids are known to target bioluminescent fish and come near the surface during full moons. Giant squids breathe through gills housed within the mantle, and they have a closed circulatory system powered by three hearts. Two branchial hearts send blood to the gills to take up oxygen before traveling to the systemic heart to be pumped to the rest of the animal's body. Biologists have observed giant squids' nervous systems to be very complex, with research on them still very much in its infancy. Their brains, however, are relatively small and shaped like donuts. Interestingly, these brains surround their esophagi, which run through the whole of the donut brain. Giant squid bodies also contain a fairly high concentration of ammonium chloride, which is less dense than the seawater it lives in. This gives the animal a natural neutral buoyancy. When it comes to directions, one would think squids would be completely clueless in the black depths. However, they use sensory organs called statocysts to get their bearings even in complete darkness. Zoologists also study a squid's statocyst for growth rings that indicate a squid's age. As far as lifespan, we are not entirely certain, but it is strongly believed that a giant squid will live up to five years. Females will likely reproduce once before dying. When a squid dies of natural causes, the aforementioned natural buoyancy takes over and causes the body to float to the surface if it's not picked off by predators. Like with many other squids, giants lose their scarlet pigmentation and go pale when they are dying. Like with many other aspects, giant squid reproduction is largely a mystery to science. It is believed that it takes three years for a giant to reach sexual maturity. Female squids will lay large clutches of very small eggs. A clutch may weigh as much as 11 pounds 5 kilograms. Eggs are made in a median ovary in the mantle and are laid through the nidamental gland. The eggs are covered in a gelatin-esque coating to help them stick together. It is unclear how males fertilize the eggs, and debates are still ongoing. The larva stage of a baby giant squid is totally undocumented as well. However, post-larval individuals have been caught in parts of the Indian Ocean with a view of studying their development. What do giant squids eat? Adult giant squids occupy a lofty place in their food chain and as a result have a fairly broad menu. Scientists have found that they eat a wide range of vertebrates and invertebrates. Deep sea fish like lanternfish and orange ruffy are likely a couple of the squid's victims. They also eat smaller squid species and other sizable invertebrates. A few squids that have washed up in Tasmania have been found to have giant squid beaks among their stomach contents hinting at potential cannibalism in the species. Luckily, it doesn't seem that giant squids hunt and eat people. That said, they have more than enough tools to drown, strangle, or fatally wound a human. What eats giant squids? Very few animals have the nerve or stomach capacity to take on a fully grown giant squid. However, there is one animal that has honed the art of hunting them – the sperm whale. Sperm whales, which are also the world's largest predators, are behemoths that can reach weights of over 70,000 pounds 
31,700 kilograms, and lengths of nearly 60 feet 18 meters. Armed with powerful jaws and teeth, the whale can exert tremendous biting power. Additionally, the sperm whale has tremendous stamina, despite the massive pressure of the deep sea. Despite the utter darkness of the giant squid's domain, the sperm whale can find its way around thanks to echolocation. The whale produces a series of clicking noises and listens. If the sound bounces back towards the whale, it can discern the nature of the object or animal. If it locates a squid, the whale will angle an attack and eat its prey whole. Naturally, a squid won't go down without a fight. When threatened, they may shoot a jet of black ink to distract an attacker while they escape. If escape is impossible, a giant squid will make use of its toothy tentacles and vicious beak to defend itself. Fights don't always go the sperm whale's way, with many juveniles drowning after biting off more than they can chew by tangling with the giant mollusks. Scientists have tried tracking sperm whales to the 2,000-3,000 foot level 610 to 915 meters that house the squid, well, that has proven to be tricky to say the least. Human themselves rarely go after giant squids for the sake of food, mainly because their ammonium chloride content makes them taste quite unpleasant. <laughs>